Hi, I'm Johanna Dunphy. I'll be performing Yelena from Uncle Vanya, Cressida from Troilus and Cressida, and a few bars from Ben Fold's The Luckiest. It's awful seeing someone else in pain and not being able to help. He doesn't love her. She isn't good looking, but for a country doctor at his age, she'd make a good wife. She's smart, good hearted, innocent. No, that's all wrong. That won't work. Poor girl, I know just how she feels. The despair and boredom around here. These gray smudges of people, all they know how to do is eat, sleep, and drink. And then he shows up. He's different from all the rest. Good looking, intelligent, fascinating. Like the new moon on a dark night. Be so easy to let yourself go and give in to the charm of a man like that. Oh. I think I'm even a little attracted to him myself. Must be. Don't feel bored when he's around. Whenever I think of him, I smile. <laughs> Look at me. Hervania says I have mermaid blood in my veins. Let yourself go at least once in your life. Well, maybe I should. Open the cage and fly away, away from all of you. Your dull faces, your boring talk. No, no. I'm a coward. I haven't got the energy. Besides, my conscience bothers me. He's here every day now, and I know why. Prince Troilus, I have loved you night and day for many weary months. I was one, my lord, with the first glance that ever... Pardon me. If I confess much, you will play the tyrant. I love you now, but not till now so much, but I might master it. In faith I lie. My thoughts are like unbridled children, grown too headstrong for their mother. <laughs> oh, see, we fools, why have I blabbed? Who shall be true to us when we are so unsecret to ourselves? No, oh, but though I loved you well, I wooed you not. And yet, good faith, I wished myself a man. Or that we women had men's privilege of speaking first. Sweet, bid me hold my tongue. For in this rapture, I shall surely speak the thing I shall repent. <laughs> See? See, your silence cunning in dumbness. From my weakness draws my soul of counsel from me. Stop my mouth. Next door is an old man who lived to his nineties and one day passed away in his sleep. And his wife, she stayed for a couple of days and passed away. I'm sorry, I know that's a strange way to tell you that I know we belong. And uh...